T3 Dome earlier. Okay. But he's staying with the Palu, which is really like good. Versus. Go! So, starting off pretty strong for T3. Throwing out as many B moves as he can. He has to. Yeah, he has, he has to. Keep to. That's, it going. The character. That's the character. He's strong, too. Strong with it. And one of the one of the more oppressive ones I've seen, like, play in general. I remember I actually played T3 Dome. Oh, my oh God. taking the stock. Not even getting touched. It. He didn't get touched. He got him with the side B to man. up smash. The Belmont thing. T3 Dome's a more flashier uh, Belmont. He's going to go yeah. for all those call out reads, the cross, the reverse up smash. Hell really good. But one thing he does have to be careful for here is Paul Tina is a character that can string him off stage and like edge exactly. guard him very free. But yeah. T3 Dome playing really well right now. With the down tilt, near drag. Not down. even giving him a chance to throw him off the yeah. stage at this point. Like I said, played T3 Dome in bracket before. Man, the guy did not let me touch the floor. I promise you, he did. Yeah. And that's what he's showing right now. Gets him with the axe and the shield. whip again. Oh, oh, what are we doing? Get a bit Does this reach? Yeah, yeah. he got it. There you go. Tipper F smash again. T3 Dome taking a very convincing lead versus Chag. Very convincing. Only 46% on this yeah. guy. Very, very, very convincing. Very, and it's a really close to flame, though. He has to keep up. He really has, has to keep it up. Keep doing what he's doing, right? Exactly. Keep Paul Tina off the toes. There you go. Hits him with the initial holy water and then with the blast of the holy water. And hits him with another oh, holy water. Knows I where he's going to go. And I, he's oh gone. My, I see that setup. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that setup was so nasty. He threw the... <laughs> And it was like when he threw the cross away, I was like, okay, he's going for it. He went for, he, he got he got everything. He got the cross, came back, holy water F. He literally got all of his setups just now. Super Fox, dude. Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness. And he got it on stream so he could show his friends and family. <laughs> <laughs> like, Yo, that was a that was a three stock by Richter on a Pelotana. That was something oh. nasty, and Chag opted to go straight back for the Pelotana. Yeah. I'm wondering if they're taking it. Did they go back to PS2? Was it? They went to, I think he went Kalos. Kalos? Okay, cool. So maybe maybe yeah. Chag knowing something that well, he can do here with a flat, bit of the flatter stage instead well, so that Paul way he can't Tina, work with the platform. Well, on this stage, um, Paul Tina gets things off the side platforms that most characters don't get. Like, Paul Tina could get her up smash reads of tech chases. She can get down throw back her. She, she gets a lot of tech chase options off of her uh, platform. And, and I know, um, and then maybe also, maybe I think, uh, T3 Dome might have banned FD, so this is also a good stage for the, against the Belmonts because they don't have, they can't up B and have a platform to land on for free. Exactly. Like that middle platform. And then maybe Chag didn't like dying off the top so early, so maybe that he makes went sense. Stage, so. Yeah, a lot of the stuff that I had seen T3 Dome playing earlier was that he liked to use that horizontal level for the middle platforms yeah. to be able to throw out those boomerangs, throw out those axes, yeah. and then like you saw the holy water set up into the forward smash. Yeah. So this way, uh, Pelotena able to get rid of that, but now Pelotena in the lead, grabbing him on the side of the leg. Yeah, the yeah. I knew it. There yeah. you go. Every single time. Tech chases. Yeah. yeah, the tech chases, the grab confirms on that platform. This is a really good stage. I mean, Pelotena has a lot of good stages, but most people don't like this stage, but they didn't fix Pelotena. Exactly. Every single time now. Keep the dome trying to get back into this one, take the stock real quick, so that way you can even it up and keep the game flowing. Oh, lands it to the holy water. Gives him with a little tap, but yeah. oh, hopefully we don't break the shield again. Pelotin still looking a little small, but coming back onto the stage, holding on, but not able to get hidden. The T3 dome has his axe cross. Lands with the axe again, not getting touched that time, man. Not getting touched. Not getting touched. He's doing the He's doing. T3 dome has leveled up a lot too. He's been doing really well. I don't know. Air trade. Yeah, here we go. Backwards nair train. Oh, the reverse oh. nair train. He really got it going too. I wonder if he was doing attack cancel nair trains or if he was just doing the raw nair train. Yeah, it, it could have just been the raw. A lot of people these days they just do the raw. They go for the raw because yeah. it's very so, doable in this game compared to. Because the tech counseling one looks that looked really. Yeah, it looked really really fluid though, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Looked, so may, 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 yeah, it, it could have been attack cancel as well though. Maybe just hella good at it. Yeah, that's a good possibility. If you when, when you raw raw that man, and then you make it look that good. Oh, he gets another one. Oh, Ooh, the mean setup and charge the up smash all the way, knowing exactly where it's going to be sending him. Chag taking the breather on the angel platform. Taking, yeah, because it's very. I'm telling you, the, the Belmonts are very taxing. So what you feel about these characters, that. but they're very taxing characters. Right very. now, like we're playing, <laughs> we're watching it right now. Yeah, you're it's watching super it. hyped I, to see like <laughs> just all these things being thrown out. But when you're playing it, it's yeah, like it's you just want to shoot. Like what? You think you could do stuff? But he's like, no, I got a whip. I got. He has so many options for you. Yeah. 
Yeah. Checks him and playing all of his own at the moment. But yeah. He's, he's either checks playing all of his own or Tiki's going playing all of his mind right now. Yeah. And from what it looks about, I want to go with the ladder. Yeah, I want to go with the ladder too. T3 yeah. playing super well. I can already imagine it's hard enough playing against just a regular Belmont on Wi Fi. Just imagine yeah. playing against one who goes to Wednesday Night Fights every week. Yeah, so. Oh, again. landing him with the Holy Water confirm again. Oh, T3 Dome. Every single it time. T3 Dome old. playing hot today, man. He's very hot. He's looking like he's going straight for Grand Finals, man. Straight for Grand Finals, and the people, I mean, the people that he has to worry about in Grand Finals are Phil right now in Losers Bracket. I feel he has a good chance against them. T3 Dome, he's feeling it right now. This guy wants to get this win. Exactly. He's on the grind. He's doing it for all the Belmont players out there. Chag still is he gonna still gonna stay with the stay with the politics? Okay, he's going to Inkling. Exactly, That's going to Inkling. Inkling. Yep. I expected as much too. There is some things about Palutena's like hitbox that a lot of people do complain about. Like she she can be kind of a tall, taller character. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, or not? Maybe not. He was, maybe not he maybe really he thought about felt, it. Maybe he was thinking. Maybe something he was thinking about of the projectile. Maybe he wants a projectile to throw at the Belmar. Something. He, maybe he wanted a counter. And knowing the English have a counter, he wasn't ready for this. Exactly. That's what it is. I'm assuming Chag is just gonna try to get it back together. Get try to get back into his comfort zone, taking it back to PS2 instead. So. Yeah, PS2 is a. It's always gonna be a good stage for Paulo. Yeah. I thought Kalos was. A, I mean, I thought Kalos was a good stage versus the Belmont, but maybe the way he lost, he felt discouraged, and I want to go back there. Well, in the set earlier against HLB, when they went to Smashville, I was actually talking here with Edmund about whether or not it's better to take Richter to a stage where you can basically run him down something smaller. Oh, man, I don't know if that was a mistake or. Uh, yeah, I just didn't see what that was. But, I mean, we seen it happen last game. He lost his first stock last game. He seemed to bring it back. That's very true. Very true. But, okay. yeah, it's like, do you want to take him to a stage where you can, like, basically just run him down and not let him get, give him that space to space yeah. you out? Or do you want to take him to a stage like this where you have time to run away or to get to get away in general? Yeah, because I feel like with the Paul Tino matchup, I feel Paul Tino might do better versus the Belmont and neutral, and she could juggle him better. But I feel the, I feel the Inklings would do a better job at, I mean, Ooh, okay, he's going to go with the ledge trapping. Like right now, he just, everything I was going to say is wrong. I just feel like that Inkling would do a better job with the ledge trapping and edge guarding versus the Belmont. Oh, Belmont. he knew where he was going to send him to. Yo, Jack, though, oh. looking like he got a, a bit of a fire lit underneath him. Trying to bring it back instead, but hopefully if we can get back onto the stage. That was a really good see. That was a super good fire, man. Oh, fire. and catching him with the up air, too. Seeing where he's going, falling with the fast fall. Very bad. The fourth they're going to kill, not going to kill Palutena. Yes. Gets back onto the ledge, gets hit with a holy water, and that's going to take the stock. Finally, a stock taken away from Tag. Palutena is going to hit him with a nair and train, though. The reverses. Oh, he's got him going. Gets him with the dash attack, gets him with an up air. Palutena specials. He's like he wants to send this in. To oh, man, he's going to grab him. Yeah. Go for the back air. Yeah, he, he, he's going for game four. Tag without it out. Looking like a lot more crisp. I'm telling you, yeah, looking like the fire's lit underneath him. Like, I'm tired of losing to this Richter match. <laughs> I hope he knows, if he does win this game, I hope he counters the right stage. I hope he bends the right stage. Exactly. That's always going to be like the heartbreaker when you're in a set. It's just like, why did I go to that one? Yeah, or like, or he did it bend the right, you know? Yeah, it's just like, why did I let him get that one? <laughs> okay, go on it. Up there, streams. Ooh, Ooh, I think he wanted, he wanted a closer one, but I'm not sure. Or, or he was trying to read him running away. Okay, this is something he wants to get away from. Okay. Oh, oh, that was a mistake. He's going over a back throw. I wish, yeah, he could have done that. Yeah, oh, that's, he's not going to be able to. Yeah. Caught him yeah. drifting to the stage. Richter, not going to be able to escape yeah. that one. That's one thing that I expected to see more out of the set if T3 Dome wasn't playing so hot. But Palutena, when she has Richter on the ledge, Richter, no, not very good at recovering, and getting back on. So, and Palutena definitely not unfamiliar with hitting people off of the stage or away from the ledge in general. So, now we got. Oh, T oh, okay, well, so I guess T3, T3 Dome likes the stage. Wanting to go to Kalos this time. Okay. All right. So we've seen some stuff. Wanting to go there instead. Maybe he just feels like it, being able to juggle or being able to throw out the aerials while Palutena is unsafe in the air might be a little better for him. But we'll see how it works out here in the game four. Starting off with some projectiles, feeling each other out, but. Ooh, nice parry. Parry's the first hit and gets out. Lands with an air. You should be able to punch it. Hits him with a couple dash attacks. Yeah, oh, I, I thought it was going to go for a third one, man. Got him with the two. 
goes for the neutral B. There we go. Now we're starting to use this little mirror to be able to bounce back this boomerang. I wonder if some of the Paulus wish she just had her regular reflect back instead of it being a Because mm -hmm. I feel it would be a lot easier to throw it out instead of trying to, like, get a counter, you know? I if get you. you I just get throw you. her reflector out. Yeah. I don't know if that's what made the Doja match up pretty key for her. Yeah. Well, now at least Pelotin is able to take on, like, a lot of uh, other matchups where you're yeah. able to handle them at the ledge and be able to counter at the ledge for certain recoveries that you're able to drop down with. So. My hot potato with the holy water there. I know, hot potato with the holy water and parrying each other back to back. Both these players not wanting to go down. But TP Dome on game, on the game for the set. And Shag. Game number four, trying to clutch trying to, trying to make it to a game five, so. Ooh, the up behind the shield, trying to send him the other way to try to get that kill. Ooh, reflectors, the boomerang. What? Oh man, yeah, we gotta be able to catch this guy from doing all these aerials. Yeah, he's really edge guarding. Yeah, it's hard when C3 Dome is that safe. Yeah, like, these are the space he got right there with the. Like exactly, the but he. Edgard. That was really good. He turned. Yeah, 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 that was really, really good. He turned around that nair so that way it would send him that way. Put him in the better position. Like and get him with his explosive flame while coming down. Chag playing really well now. Take this. Okay. Ooh! Okay, he's not gonna take it. Survives. Oh, but oh, gets him with the axe right on the ledge. Dude, I'm so accurate with that stuff. He's good, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's good. He's good. <laughs> Got good. With the cross up. T3 Dome switch on the face of the Belmont. Oh, here we go. Parry the up beat. Now we're trying to start some kind of combo. Down throws him. Gets him with the up beat out of shield, and instead, this counter pick really starting to work out for T3. Putting himself back on the map. <laughs> the <Bell Man. laughs> Man, he's, he's, he literally just said, "Wait back, hit, wait back, like, hit." Like every single time. Dude. You gotta be right. You gotta be. You gotta mentally prepare yourself for this match. Right? Yeah, exactly. It's like you don't want to be baited into that kind of like stuff Belmont's of the hit. runaway hits, yeah. but <laughs> like, it's hard. Right, not too bad. Yeah, like the projectile heavy characters like Belmont, Snake, and Mega Man, Olimar, Duck Hunt. You gotta mentally prepare yourself for that. I feel it, man. Because it's gonna be. If you let yourself get tilted, it's gonna be a wrap. Exactly. Hopefully that's not what we're seeing with Chag right now. Like I said, he seems a little more focused now on these sets, but how are we going to get back onto the stage? Ooh, having to beat T3 on double counter picks is going to be really difficult, but so far we're even. We're even, but this state of the game is kind of bad. Goodness, so <laughs> time the holy water, man. It's like rinse and repeat, bro. Rinse and repeat every time. Normal get -ups. He's catching a lot of his normal get-ups. Mm -hmm. go. go for the back air. I see check up. That was a little early. Just to go for it, the neutral B instead. Hit him with the back air. See what Chag can do. Yo, Chag going to have to take the stock Ooh, now. T3 otherwise, oh, it's yeah. Yeah. But otherwise this is where T3 don't yeah. starts to flourish a little more. Oh, Ooh, no, that's the ball. not what he's supposed to play. He doesn't want to be right here versus T3 Dome on the ledge. Hit him with that ledge game. Oh, oh my, OK, yeah. This game is uh, how, how we, yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give up yet. Come on, Shaq. Yeah, I, I don't want to. No, Shaq's got play, this. He's got this. He's just gotta get back on. Dome is just gotta really, get back on. He's showing. There you go. There you go. He's showing it right now. Is it back bro. here. T Dome. This guy's too. Oh right man, now. he went down for that nair. Try to get a little ambitious here, you know. He's coming. Yeah, he's coming for it. But look, yeah. look at him. I mean, Shaq hopefully has to find a way through losers because this is looking like T3 Dome is looking to take this game away right now. Get another win. This guy's for sure is gonna be ranked next season with this win right here. Oh, man. And with another win on WNF under his belt, like I mean, oh, he'll be he'll be seen. He'll be seen on the ranking for sure. Yeah, He'll he go for up. sure is gonna be ranked. I mean, like yeah. he's an unranked win in WNF. I mean, doing what he's doing right now. I mean, he still got Master Martin track work. Exactly. Well, if he beats him, Master Martin track have to beat each other up. So. And like I said yeah. about our our region in general, it's just yeah. a lot of these unranked players oh, getting crazy wins. With the forward air, and that forward air, reaching out, taking hitting him with the, the tipper, and taking him out. Win three convincingly, three one. T3 Dome over Chag. He really feels it. Man, dude. That was really good. I mean, that was really good by T3 Dome. No, he played really well. I know Chag. Chag, like, he, he it looked like he was starting to pull it back, but T3 Dome, good composure by him. It's pulling like, it together. Yeah, what much can you do when you're on the ledge versus Belmont spaced out? Like, exactly. I mean, maybe mix up with the holy water, but if you do normal get up, you get holy water. If you do roll, you get, you know, like, 